Hello, YouTube friends, subscribers, JW Solar USA. Folks, this is the system. This is what I've been doing today. And this is what I've been working on today. Look at that. It's a six gauge wire. The system is upgraded. Look at the gutters right there. Don't you like? All nice and neat. One more wire supposed to go over there in the PV. I'm gonna be putting on. I'm gonna put that one on soon. Yeah, got the temperature sensor wires are still hanging here for both um, controllers. Look at that. I'm gonna be cleaning up all this mess. So I'm just gonna do the charge controllers today. Like I mentioned on the first video. Just the, for the Midnight Classic and the um, Outback. So next time on the weekend, I'm going to be doing the entire. This one's coming from the disconnect all the way, taking all those black insulator out. So this is how the system is going to look like. I'm going to be putting those uh, gutters and cover up that thing and tell me what you think. So... Tearing up this thing apart, it takes about 5-10 about minutes, everything is out. But putting it together is the problem. You know, resizing the wires, know what you put in, making terminals, and uh, make sure everything looks nice, arranging, get it all the way to uh, perfection. Folks, it's not an easy task. But I know sometimes other people don't even see your hard work. They're waiting for you to get done. They started criticizing you. But this is what I'm doing. And this is what I want. And this is how it's going to look like. And if you like, you think I did a good job, give me a thumbs up, like, and share. Like you guys always do. And please subscribe. You know, I'm going to be taking all this black stuff out. So the system is going to look really nice and Perfectly arranged, just like any uh, professional uh, thing. This is just a, a DIY project. So you guys check me out on um, Google+. Plus. I already posted some um, uh, pictures that's already live. So you guys can see the, the uh, computer. The cleanup work I already did. Look at these guys. That's the classic. The guts of the classic right there. Is that not something? Really tough machines. Really, really tough machines. They look really good. You know, you guys can check it out because I'm going to be posting these pictures. And you guys can see my connection arrangements and everything so some people who want to see how everything is done and you can check it out this is not an easy job i saw that people think you gotta take your time and do right and it's gonna work right for you with all this upgrade i'm gonna be having a very good performance with all this upgrade because i'm going to be um, thinking about uh, doing something for the future so i'm getting all these wires already maxed out especially for the uh, flex max 60 it takes about six gauge you can put into that stuff the recommended uh, thing for the uh, charge controller and the um, midnight classic I can probably go all the way to two gauge, I suppose, four or four gauge, four to two gauge, approximately. I have to look it up again. But I gave that classic two, um, uh, six gauge wires there. So that'll be good for now. Unless if I'm going to be running a wind turbine, I'm going to be running maybe, um, Huge, huge, huge solar array, you know, 3800 or whatever, 4800. I'm going to be put into that thing. 
and that will be the challenge. It depends if I wired it in high voltages, I'm going to be bringing uh, lesser amps. It's not going to be too much uh, uh, amps up to that 96 amps. No, it's not going to happen because I'm not running 12 volts on this. I'm not running 24. I'm running 48. So it depends um, how many strings of uh, uh, panels I have put together. But even that is not going to max out that 6 gauge wire I have there right now. So I'll show you guys I'm um, putting this cover right here to see how um, everything is covered up. All right, folks, you see all the wires in. I have the uh, communication port. You know, Ethernet is already in here. You can see that. And I have the USB it's right there to um, update the firmware. This is the uh, temperature sensor. It's going to be coming inside here. Okay. So I have the communication cable for the uh, outback is already installed and the temperature sensor is right here if you look underneath here is the wire the purple wire right there is a aux right there it's gonna that's the whisk bank junior so i'll plug this wire right here okay it's gonna be plugged right there there we go. Voila. Everything is ready. You know, it's already installed. Sorry for the shake right there. One more wire is coming right there. Sorry, my hands are all dirty. All kind of white. Dry. It's the PV I have to install right here. And everything is done. See? If you guys like share thumbs up this is a connection of a full system and I'm gonna be putting right here if you guys can take a look closely it's gonna say slave it's gonna say remote see that master slave out and remote that's where you're gonna put the MNGP wire which is gonna be this wire right there it's connected so the face plate is gonna just get there which is already here and this is the connection behind it where it goes plugged in so everything is good to go I'll post all the photos you guys can take a look I'm gonna be covering this gutter right here for you guys to see temporarily before um, I finish putting up the other wire alright folks it's already in see the cover is already in Cover up all those wires. Nice and neat. Perfectly done. Perfectly done. So, this is a professional look. Makeover. Alright. Perfect. Perfect. I love it and I love it and I love it. All the wires already plugged in. MNGP cable. Look at that, all beefy wires. You know, I know critics are gonna be saying things that they shouldn't be saying, but anyway, I don't care. I'll let them say whatever they wanna say, but this is how a system should look. This is how you build a system, and this is how a system works. Because it is the right way to do it. You maybe you might probably have another way to do it, but this is the way. I've done it and this is how it's gonna stay you know even if you ask uh, <laughs> Midnight Solar or Outback they'll tell you 
they will tell you that JW Solar USA, you did a good job. All right. All right, guys, take care. And give me a thumbs up, like, and share to all your loved ones, friends. And uh, if you guys want to learn, want to copy what I did, okay, go ahead. This is what we're here for. Make sure that everybody trying to put out uh, or set up a nice system which is safer and very efficient. All right. One more glance right there to the wiring. Here we go. All right. Take care. God bless. Bye-bye.